In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the critical region for this hypothesis test. So n is 120, p is 0.3. The alternative is less than 0.3. And uh, we're at a 5% significance level. The first thing you want to do to know where you should start looking is multiply the 120 by the 0.3. Okay, so 120 times 0.3 is equal to 36. So 36 is the mean of this binomial distribution. So you don't want to look too far beyond that value, effectively. Now we're going to use the binomial CD function, which is what you should be using for any binomial hypothesis test. And we're going to be using the list section of that. So go to menu and then number seven, distribution, and then scroll down to binomial CD, number one, and go into list. Now, this enables you, this table enables you to input several values at once. So we could put in, um, let's say, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, for example. OK. Um, now, I don't know whether this is going to give me the overlap values that I want, but we will see. OK, uh, if not, we can always put in some more numbers. So press equals on that. N is 120 and P is 0.3. Press equals. Now, it may take some time to populate, but on the right hand side, we have our probabilities. So this is the probability of X being less than or equal to 30. This is the probability of X being less than or equal to 31. Now, we're looking for the overlap of 0.05 because of the 5% significance level. So we don't have the values we want. So instead, I'm going to change these values up. So let's type in instead 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Press equals. That should save that. Press equals again. And here we go. OK, this is more like it. So the overlap of 0 0.05 is between these two values. So we want to write down the probability of x being less than or equal to 27. And the probability of x being less than or equal to 28. Now, 27. Now, you must make sure you round this correctly to four decimal places and not just write down the value in the table. 0 0.0425 to four decimal places. Otherwise, you could lose accuracy marks. Then 28, 0 0.0651 to four decimal places. So this one is less than 0 0.05. This one is greater than 0 0.05. And so the critical region is any value where the significance were less than the significance level. So that's less than or equal to 27. So 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 27. This is the critical region for this test.